body, going at your own pace. And if you need to take a break, take a break. If you feel any lightheadedness, uh, dizziness, it's a good sign that you need to uh, slow down a little bit. But again, make sure you have your water with you. Make sure you have nothing on the floor that you might trip over. And make sure you have nothing overhead that you might hit your head on. Uh, we'll be moving around a lot. So just make sure there's nothing around you to slip or trip on. So we're gonna start as we always do with our warm up. I'm just gonna move this up here. If you have a jump rope, you can uh, you can bring that out. If you don't have one, no worries. You can just mimic the same. Um, but we're gonna do a couple movements just to get our core temperature increased, make sure we're lubricating our joints, lengthening our muscles, increasing our heart rate. So we're doing jump rope. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. From there, we're gonna go into an overhead squat. I'm just gonna change this angle here. So from there, you're gonna go into an overhead squat. You can put your arms up, squat down. So at the bottom position, you can see I'm sitting in that bottom position. My hips are nice and low, stand up nice and tall, the start position. Um, we're gonna do 12 of those. We're gonna go down to our push-up position. Our modified push-ups are gonna be from our knees. So our knees will be on the floor, hands will be up. We'll go down into a push-up, all the way down, press back up again. We're gonna do eight of those. If they're too tricky to do off the floor, what you can do is do them against the wall. Just put your hands against the wall. Body is nice and flat. We're on an angle here, come close to the wall and then back out again, okay? So make sure our hands are either lined up or just below our shoulders. Come close to the wall and then press out. That's just a simple variation to do if you can't do a push up from the floor, okay? So we're gonna start with our jump rope. So we're gonna get into position. We're gonna do 30 seconds of, of skipping. Again, if you don't have a jump rope, you can just mimic the same movement. 30 seconds, nice and light. Not too quick. Make sure you're landing nice and softly on your toes and pause your feet. And go for 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go into our squats. We do 12 of these. Just body weight. We're going to have our hands overhead. It's too difficult to find your balance with your hands overhead. You have your hands in front of you. Do 12 reps. Feet shoulder width apart, slightly turned out. Come down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. Good. We're gonna go into our push-ups. You can do these off the floor or against the wall. We're gonna do eight reps. I'm gonna go from my knees again or from the wall. Nice and slow with these. Eight reps all the way down. One, all the way up. Two, three, four. Arms full extended, nice and flat back. Five, six, seven. Last one, and it's good. Let's do two more rounds of this. Back to our jump rope again. Just a nice medium pace. We're just increasing our core temperature, increasing our heart rate. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. Nice light hops off your feet, balls of your feet. Make sure you're nice soft landing. Three, two, one, and go. Seconds, nice and slow, medium pace. And your rhythm. 
five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Or overhead squats. Put down my shoes. Again, you can put your arms out instead if you want. If you don't want to go red, put your hands in front of us for a little bit of balance. We're going to do 12 reps. One, two, three, and reach back. Four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. 11, last one. Well, good. Into our push ups. Again, try to come as far down as you can. Increase the range of motion. Arms fully extended at the top. You can do this here or against the wall. Eight reps all the way down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Good. We're going to do one more round of that and then grab some water. Grab some too if you have it with you. Grab your jump rope. Again, if you don't have it, it's fine. Just mimic the same movement by jumping on the balls of your feet, moving your arms. We're going to go for 30 seconds again. Five, four, three. I'm just going to have my shoe to keep my laces keep coming off and begin. And nice and slow. Then the pace. Back on the balls of your feet. Ups. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last set of squats. Feet shoulders apart. One, three, four, nice and low. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Last one. Well, good. Last set of push ups. Make sure you're a full range of motion. Body stays nice and tight. Nice long torso here. Back's flat. Nice straight line there. And eight reps. One, two, all the way down. Three, all the way up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. We're going to do a couple more movements for our warm-up before we begin. We're going to do some shoulder rotations. So we're going to start with our palms facing down. Rotating forward with small circles. So we rotate our shoulders, stretch our chest and our back a bit bigger. Palms facing down still and biggest all the way around. Try to come as far backwards as you're coming forwards. A lot of times our upper back is tight, so we can't get that far. So really focus on coming back. Good. Palms facing up. Swing backwards. All the way. Again, try to come back as far as you come forward, okay? Reach back all the way. Good. Just gonna do a couple shoulder rolls. Arms down, 
Come up with your shoulders up to your neck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to do a rotation there for our ankles. So you're just going to put your foot down on the ground and then rotate, make a circle with your toe. You're just rotating around with your ankle, go the opposite direction, so counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five. And clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So begin our workout. Um, our first. Our first station or our first circuit would be push-ups on an uh, on a decline. So what we're going to do is put our feet up onto an elevated surface. Hands go down on the ground. You're going to go into a push-up. So I'm going to bring my body all the way down. Chest touches the floor and back up again. Okay. So all the way down. Chest touches the floor and back up. So we're, we're going to be doing eight of those. We want to make sure you're doing a full range of motion. Uh, if you can't do them from a decline, what what you can do is do them off your knees from this position here. That's my daughter. <laughs> from this position there, um, just like we did for the warm up. Okay, if you can't do them off of your elevated surface, you can do them in this position. To, an easier version, come down and pass up again. Okay, same thing, eight reps. Um, if that's still too hard, what you can do is decrease the range of motion. So just come down until your elbows are about parallel with the floor and then press back up again. If that variation is still too a bit difficult, you can do them off the wall for eight reps. Okay, second station is going to be a split squat, eight reps again. So it's going to be eight reps on each leg. Uh, we're going to go down to a squat, pressing from our heel on our left foot, down and back up again. Okay. Down, see my knee is just above my toe. You can come past a little bit, but not too far forward. We're sitting back and back up. Same thing on the opposite leg. We're, we're going to switch legs after eight reps. Come down and back up. Nice and tall. Down, back up. I'm working forward. Okay. You can have your hands out for balance if you need to. If this one's a bit too difficult, you can do uh, a regular squat in this position here, like we did in the Okay, all the way down, all the way back up. With that one, you'll be doing 16 reps if you're not doing 18 reps here. Okay. Uh, our cardio station is going to be. Um, the uh, mountain climbers off our elevated surface again. So we're using an elevated surface. Lift one leg, bring it back. As you're bringing it back, you're going to lift the right leg, okay? But we're going to be doing it a bit quicker than that. What it will look like is this. I'm driving our knees forward at a constant pace, okay? So I'm pressing out with my arms, using my abs to keep myself up. You want to walk into that position, okay? So we're, be we're going to begin. We're going to get into the your push-up position for the push-up variation that you want to choose. We're doing eight reps. I'm going to go from my elevated surface. You can choose whichever one you'd like. After each movement, we're going to have 10 seconds before we get into the next station, okay? So eight reps, three, two, one, and go. One, two, Three, right up. Four, arms fully extended. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Nice work. We're going to get into our squats. Uh, I'm going to go for my Bulgarian foot squats. If you're doing these, you're going to do eight reps on one leg, eight reps on the next leg. If you're doing regular squats, you're going to do 16 reps total, okay? So don't forget to switch, and I'll, I'll cue you to do that as we go. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, chest up, seven, last one, and eight. Good, switch legs. Right leg down, left leg back. And begin, looking forward, one, a straight line here in your upper body, two, three, four, nice and low, five, should be a 90 degree angle here, six, seven, last one, and eight, good. Nice work, we're gonna do 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Just gonna grab my stopwatch here. We're going for 30 seconds all the way through. Make sure your arms are straight. Torso is nice and flat. Bracing my abs to keep myself up. We're gonna go on three, two, one, and go. Good case here. Again, find your rhythm. Drive those knees forward, arms are straight. Keep your body nice and flat. Lower back's flat, we're halfway there. Keep going. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Nice work. We're gonna have a 45 second in between each round, okay? So we're gonna do this two more times. You have 40 seconds now to rest. We're gonna get into our um, our next our next cir uh, circuit. So it's gonna be the same movements. It's circuit two of three. Same things again. We're gonna do our push-ups, Bulgarian split squats, and our mountain climbers. Okay. So we'll get into our push-up position. We have about 20 seconds before we start. Grab some water if you have it. Again, pick whatever whatever variation you want to. Whatever one suits your current level of fitness. But maybe try to. Um, Try the, a bunch of different ones so that you're not just using the same variation. You could push yourself, go towards the harder one, okay? So we're gonna go in five seconds, back into a push-up position. If you tried the wall the first time, try going from your knees this time. Three, two, one, and go. We're doing eight reps. One, two, three, four. Arms straight, body nice and flat. Five, six, two more, seven, last one, and eight, good. Going into our squats, you got 10 seconds. Uh, if you're doing regular two-footed squat, you can do 16 reps. If you're doing Bulgarian split squats, we're gonna switch after eight on each leg. Three, two, one, and go. Nice and low, nice 90 degree angle here. One, two, Three, pushing out with that left foot. Four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Good. Mountain climbers, we've got 10 seconds. Get into position. We're gonna use 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Arms straight, you can do it off the floor too. In this position here. I'm gonna go to the elevated surface. We're going for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Couple more reps in our last round, which just means we're increasing the pace. Okay, so if we got 40 reps in last time, in those 30 seconds, I want to see 45 to 50. Halfway there, 15 more seconds. Turn the pace up a little bit. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stop there. Take a 45 second break. We're gonna do one more round. Again, grab some water if you have it. One 
one second. We'll begin. Back into our push up position. One more round of this. One second. Five into our push ups. Four, three, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Ten seconds. We'll get into our position for our foot squats. Left leg down, right leg back, pushing off the left leg. Right leg just holding us up, not supporting our weight. She's being uh, put on top of that elevated surface and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Good, switch five, seat, switch feet, eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Good. Into our last round of mountain climbers. Five more seconds. One more 30 seconds here. Increase the pace again for our last round. Three, two, one, and go. So a bit quicker. 50 reps last round. I want to see 60 reps. Bring that pace up. Nice and light on your feet. Arms are fully straightened. Abs are tight. There's 30, there's 15 seconds there, halfway there. 10 more seconds. Keep going. Increase the pace for the last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. We're gonna end off one more circuit. Give you guys one minute break while I'm going through the movements. Grab some water. So this is gonna be a time circuit here. It's gonna be a full body uh, circuit. Two exercises. Uh, the first station is gonna be strength-based. Second station will be cardio-based. I'm gonna show you the movements while you're breaking. We're gonna do what's called a bear crawl. We're gonna go from our toes and our hands. You're gonna get into, uh, a, it's called a quadruped position where you're on your toes here. You can see my toes are in the floor. Our hands are down, nice and flat. There's a 90 degree angle here at my knee. What I'm gonna do is bring my left arm forward and right foot forward like this. And I'm gonna start to crawl. This is a bear crawl. So you can see my knees are hovering the floor. They're not down on the ground. They're above it. I'm keeping my abs nice and tight, pushing my, my obliques, my lower back. And I'm using my arms and my legs to support me. So again, I'm gonna go forward, forward, back, back. Nice and slow and controlled. Forward, forward, back, back. A regression of this would be on your hands and knees. Same thing. Forward, forward, back, back. Okay, that's the easier version there. We're gonna use 30 seconds of that and then 30 seconds of seal rows. So very similar to jumping jack, except starting with your hands in front. Feet, shoulder width apart. You're gonna come out to the side and back in. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of that. We're gonna do two rounds with 20 seconds break in between each round. No break in between movements, okay? So two rounds, no break in between movements, but 20 seconds in between each round. So you're basically going from one movement to the next. We're gonna start with bear crawls. 30 seconds at each station, okay? I'm gonna grab my stopwatch, get it ready. You have more room, you can go 
forward as far as you want. Um, if you only have a room to do a couple of steps, that's fine too. It's time. So if you have lots of room, you can go and do all your reps within that 30 seconds, you can go across your room. If you don't have a lot of space, you can just go forward, forward, back, back, okay? So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Up, up, back, back. Nice, slow and controlled. Stay low to the ground. Lower back should be flat. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Nice and slow and controlled. We're halfway there. Keep going. 10 seconds. Nice and slow. Three, two, and one. Get right up into our seal rows. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Nice and quick, light on your feet. Arms out, arms in, arms out, arms in, good. Pick the pace up a little bit, a bit quicker. 10 more seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Into our bear crawls. Set my time. Last round here. And begin. Nice and slow. Sit nice and low to the ground. Back should stay flat. Knees stay off the ground. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Make sure your arms are fully extended. And every time you put your hand down. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Seal rows. Three, two, one, and go. Quicker than the last round. Keep the feet out, arms out. Just a bit faster than one per second. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab some water and we'll do a quick cool down. Great work. We're going to do our cool down to begin with. Starting position will be standing. We're going to do a little bit of the same movements that we did for our warm up, just a bit slower. Start with the palms facing down, nice and gentle shoulder rotations going forward. Good. Palms up, shoulder rotations going backward. All the way, good. Just gonna have our hands in front of us. You can put them on your belly, over your belly button. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Big belly full of air. Exhale, good. Again, big belly full of air. Try not to let your shoulders rise, but expand your belly instead. Big belly full of air in through your nose. And out through your belly. Two more times in through your nose. Big belly full of air out through your mouth. Last one, you should feel your belly push out against your hands here. In through your nose, big belly full of air. And out through your mouth. Good. We're just going to look straight down at our toes. Don't go to a point where you feel any discomfort in your neck. Down at your toes and then up at the ceiling. 
nice and slow and controlled down at your toes. Focusing on your breathing as we do this up through your ceiling, down towards your toes, up to the ceiling. Good. You're just gonna look over your right shoulder, nice and slow again, over your left shoulder, over your right shoulder again, over your left shoulder. This is really good to do during the day too. Take a break from your, from your desk if you're staring at your computer screen straight on. You just want to do a couple of these nice and slow over your right shoulder, over your left shoulder. Good. We're going to do half circles. So your chin should roll to your right side, roll down towards your chest and to your left side. Keep going. Again, don't go to a point where there's any discomfort. It should be nice and slow, fluid movement. Good, we're gonna go down onto our feet. I'm gonna bring the camera angle down. Sorry, onto our, uh, onto our butts, onto our seats. Okay, first one we're gonna do is bring our left leg in, right leg out. Just try to touch your right foot, keeping this leg straight here. Uh, if you have to, you can bend it a little bit, okay? Again, don't go to any point of discomfort. Hold that position, five seconds. Three, two, one, switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Right leg's bent, left leg straight. Try to keep it straight there. Don't touch your toe. Try to round your back. Just reach for that left foot. If you can't make it all the way, that's fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're gonna kick our left leg back. So our knees on the ground here. Just lean back towards your heel. You want you to put your arm right down to the ground. You should feel a stretch in your obliques, hips, and your quads. Okay? Muscles in the front of your leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Same thing on the other side. Right leg comes back. Bend that right leg. Lean towards your right heel. Hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one, good. I'm gonna come up onto our hands and knees. Right arm here comes up and you're gonna put it between this little window here. Rotate your body, let your torso rotate, go through. If you want, you can put your shoulder down. You're gonna reach as far as you can across your body. Five, four, three, two, one. Same thing on the opposite side. Take your left hand. Put it through this little window here. You can put your left shoulder into the ground if you want. Push your butt back. Twist your torso. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. I'm just gonna do some cat cow. Cat camel. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> so you're gonna go on all fours, knees, hands on the floor. Get a nice little box here. What you're gonna do is raise your uh, belly button up towards the ceiling, let your back arch a little bit, push your butt out, raise your chest up, shoulders back. Good, we'll do two of these. Back up again, big stretch in your upper back, okay? You can lean back a little bit if you want. Now push your butt back, belly button pressed into the ground, shoulders back, stretch the shoulder blades. One more, up at the upper back there. Stretch out those little muscles in the back. They're probably really tired from sitting on your computer. And then push your butt back. Belly button into the ground. Shoulders back and down. Big stretch there. Awesome. Good. Nice work today. Hope you guys had a great workout. Hope you're nice and relaxed after that cool down now and refreshed and ready for an afternoon of either studying or work, whatever you're up to. But uh, have a great day. We'll see you next week. Uh, if you have any questions, um, always shoot me an email, any questions with the, the movements, if you need a variation, um, if you have an injury that's impeding you from doing a different a movement, let me know and I can uh, work on giving you a different uh, movement that you can do instead. Um, but uh, have a great day and we'll see you next week. Take care.